Not everyone in North Dakota has the same feelings about the state's mountain lion population. There's some folks, of course, that uh, you know aren't in favor of us uh, you know, having a mountain lion season whatsoever. And then there are, of course, some folks that would just as soon not have any mountain lions in the state as well. Prior to 2005, there really wasn't much interest in the big cats at all. Sure, there were incidental sightings here and there, but no real problems. When it was discovered that there were actually breeding populations in the Badlands, it was decided to offer a very limited and very unique hunting opportunity. Beginning in 2005, the department uh, started having a, a mountain lion season in North Dakota. When you combine the information gleaned from 10 years of hunting seasons and an extensive research project that included ear tagging and radio collaring a number of cats, the department now feels it has collected enough science to pass on to the public. We think we've gained a lot of information over the last 10 years when it comes to mountain lion management and uh, we want to share that with the public. A series of three meetings have been scheduled for late February in Bismarck, Fargo and Kildare. William says the meeting sites are spread out geographically to give interested people a chance to provide input. We're going to hear a wide variety of questions, I think, from people, and that's, but that's, that's the goal of the meeting. Williams says biologists are also looking for input on how to balance mountain lion hunting opportunities on a level playing field. Between an early season, when some hunters try to call in lions, and a late season, when hunters can use hounds to track lions in the snow, which has proven very effective. The late season harvest quota has been filled every year since 2011. This is Tom Jensen, Outdoors.